Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I have some super easy cards to make today. We're going to make two cards uh, kind of together. And I got this idea from Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. I found her on Pinterest. I always look on Pinterest for ideas and stuff. And these are the cards, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a circle cut out here, and then a circle cut out here or you know most of a circle so I thought it was a pretty unique idea I think it's her own idea that's what it sounded like um, and I just made some thanks cards so for this the paper that I use is this huge huge pack delightfully eclectic it's a hard word for me to say and you get um, 12 by 12 48 sheets you get four of each on this this is like a super super size pack this reminds me of a guy's shirt or tie or something i don't know what um so you get four of each and they're just different fun designs so this is a paper i use this is the back of it but i didn't use that one look at the pretzels i use this one this is cool to, to cut out and um you know make some words with i love the daisies and this is fun this is uh fun for scrapbooking so this is just a kind of a variety pack and um, i use this one so pretty i love this and then i love the back of it so this is the pack i used for this and then i use these dies these are the uh, nested essentials dies this is a great set of dies to have and i use the second one in from the smallest and then uh, the thanks is from Artistically Inked. I just wanted to get some thank you cards out. So that's this set, and we'll put that up there. This card that we're going to make is going to use different paper. I have it all out here. And this is the uh, Quarter Country Countryside Inn. I don't know. I have a hard time remembering names. And this is my favorite design in this. So I figured I would use this and then I think the back of this one. But I think there's such a great variety for this type of design in this paper pack. And I love all the blues. I think it's just so pretty. So I've made some other cards with this, but I thought this would be a good combination. And then for this one, I'm using dies from the Something Fancy dies. I have uh, this and this set. So let's get started. Again, this is such an easy card, you, you won't even believe it. So I have two card bases and I have two pieces of designer series paper. Okay, I'm gonna line these up. I'm going to get my two and three eighths um, circle punch and it's locked like this and then you just push this and open it. So we want to make sure this is lined up. These are four by five and a quarter, your standard front. And we're going to punch right down here. We don't want to punch the tip, right? So we want to have the tip be as close as possible without punching it and kind of make it even on each side. So we're just going to punch these and then we're going to turn it and do the same exact thing to this corner. It's such a cool, unique idea. I heard her say that she tried to do four corners and it didn't look right. Maybe with a smaller punch it would be better. So I'm also kind of eyeballing here to make sure it's kind of even. And we want to make sure this is not being punched out. Okay. So I think you're going to understand <laughs> how this works pretty easily, pretty quickly. So we've got our pieces. Let's put our punch aside. And then I just have some thick basic white and I'm going to adhere this down with this piece. And I'm just realizing this is not going to work because it's going to be upside down. Is it going to be upside down? No, it won't be. Phew, I thought one was going to be one way and one was going to be the other way. I hadn't done this with a pattern that was directional, so I'm glad it worked out. You never know when you don't practice first, right? And then these are going to come like this. So I'm going to just quickly glue these pieces down. But isn't this great? I think it's so fun. 
such a clever idea. So the first thing I'll do is um, just glue these pieces. I just want to make sure I have them all in the right order. So I'm going to quickly glue these down and fill in the other pieces. So this is just such pretty paper. If you like blue, this Countryside Inn is right up your alley. Okay, and then we're just gonna put this down and make sure it's nice and straight and there's, you know, the, um, the border around it is pretty equal. And these should be pretty, pretty even, but there is definitely um, one piece that fits better than, than the other because they're not exactly perfect. So you might wanna just try them in each area. I love this little fox. So cute. And I like using the liquid adhesive because I like to be able to kind of maneuver it about around. I'm trying to get that corner right perfectly. There we go. Pretty, right? And then we'll do this one. And we'll have one card almost done. This will fit perfectly right in here. So it's important to cut the two pieces or punch the two pieces together at the same time. I feel like this is off a little bit. Okay, very pretty. I'll speed this one up. I'm just going to do the same thing here. Okay, so we have the base of both cards done. Aren't they pretty? I love them. So now we want to put these down. Maybe I'll do it this way. I'll do this one this way. And I'm going to use the uh, Charming Sentiments Thank You. Again, I need some thank you cards, but you can use whatever sentiment you want. And I'm going to just ink it up with Knight of Navy. I'll ink both of them up. And I'll put this one down in the middle. I'm going to probably put ribbon on top and some kind of gems on the bottom. So I want this to be right around here. Thank you. And then we'll do this one this way. I just wanted to give you some uh, different ideas of sentiments, you know, from different stamp sets and different labels. Okay. So now we can put these together and then I'll pop them up with some dimensionals. So easy, right? And you get two cards for the price of one in a way, right? <laughs> And I would say that, um, you know, you don't want too busy of patterns. You know, you don't want one, both of them to be very busy. And I kind of wish the trees were here, but I think that might be hard to get the trees in the exact spot that you want them. But you, I could pr probably play with that and see if you cut it down and kind of figure out where you're going to punch. But this is just, a, you know, an idea. You can use whatever paper, whatever pattern paper you want. And a lot of times the backs of the papers work out really well together. Okay, so let's get some dimensionals. We'll put this on. And we'll put these on. So easy, so pretty. So I just finished reading this book called The um, the Orphan Train that my friend Fran gave me. And what a quick read it was. It was really good. Um, it was, you know, way back when, when people were immigrating, 
coming through Ellis Island and um, you know a lot of them ended up as orphans because their parents died that trip and it was about a family that came from Ireland and the girl ended up um, as an orphan and she was put on the orphan train which they had just a bunch of kids um, and they brought them out west and you know they auctioned them off actually it was a tough story but boy it was a good story I, I wasn't aware of that so it was just about her life and it was very good very interesting it was a quick read I don't know if you guys like to read leave me a comment and let me know what my next book should be actually my daughter gave me the Briggerton book then the, the one that's out now, I, I follow that. I watch that on Netflix or wherever it is, and uh, I love it. I think it's fun. So this is the book that um, is now the show that's out. So I just stepped away. This is the book I'm reading, Queen Charlotte. So this is like, I don't know if you follow um, the Bridgerton, Bridgerton? I don't know if I'm saying it right, Bridgerton storyline. Um, there were two seasons, I think. This is before that. So it's about the queen that you see in the later ones. So if you follow that, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't, then I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's put some ribbon on here. This is the um, Knight of Navy uh, bordered ribbon. And I'm just going to put a bow up here. So we'll just tie a quick bow here. I like to read. I'm a slow reader, but I do like to read. At night time, I like to quiet my my mind from all the computer and television and everything else. I do like my television, though, too. So let's see. We'll get a nice, pretty bow. I love this because it's got this nice um, kind of satin border. And we'll just put this down with a glue dot. And then I'm going to use some of these. It's funny on these cards. So this one I used um, the iridescent rhinestones and I colored it. It doesn't say that Berry Burst is in this paper. I think that's actually um, at the peak. I think it's actually Cajun Craze, but I think the Berry Burst goes good because of the pinks. And then I colored these with the Berry Burst um, Stampin' Blends, the dark one. This one is not colored, and I think this one looks so much better. It kind of pops right off. And then I just put the paper on the inside, because I write a thank you note. I don't really um, usually stamp. I like to write something in there. Um, so on this one, I'm using the Tinsel uh, Gems 3-pack, and this is actually Misty Moonlight. Um, but I'm going with it anyway. <laughs> um, you don't always have to have it. And there, there's so many blues in this paper. I got it off here. Come on. There's so many blues in this paper that I think it's okay. And I'm just going to put three across here. A big one and then two little ones. Okay, so that one's done. And then this one, I'm just going to put one on each side. I don't want to do that again. Let's do from over here. And I guess I put, could have put ribbon around it, but that might have been a nice thing to do to have the ribbon here. Too late now because I've already wrapped it, but you might want to add ribbon around here. That would be nice as well. And then let's do the insides of our cards. So I have two inside layers and all I plan on doing is just adding three quarters of an inch by four 
across the bottom. I really didn't want to do the trees because I thought the trees would be too, um, they'd get chopped off. You wouldn't get a whole tree in there. And I think this is nice. And then I'll just write a sentiment. If I decide that I want to add a sentiment, depending on who I'm giving it to, I might stamp one. But a lot of times on this kind of a card, I just um, leave it blank. I kind of like it this way, I think. There's those little blue flowers. This one is more even <clears throat> with those little flowers. All right, and then we put this in and we have two cards done. So quick and easy. With this, if you don't do this and break it, it's sometimes hard to get it going again with the, uh, the stamp and seal. And even though it's a white inside, I like to put a white layer on, especially if I'm gonna stamp it this way, if I make a mistake, I don't ruin my card at the very last minute. But then the other thing, I think it, um, it kind of balances the weight out a little bit. You don't want your card to be like top heavy. I think it gives it a little bit of um, some weight so that it's uh, easier to stand up. So these are the two cards and you can barely tell it's a circle. Well, this one is more obvious, but I think they're really pretty. I like them all. Um, let me know what you think and if you'll give it a try. And thank you to Lynn for showing this on YouTube, how to, how to make this. Or actually, yeah, she showed it on YouTube. So, all right. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.